Hi, John Clements, and I am in the middle of the coral reef here. Actually, not the coral reef. This is the undersea succulent garden, which is really meant to mimic uh, a coral reef. And it is one of the standout areas and justly famous. It's been on the cover of a lot of magazines, and uh, it, it is a great space for you to visit. And this is one of the first plants, oh my goodness, 50 years ago that turned me on to plants. This is Deuteraconia. Brevifolia. And this, believe it or not, is a bromeliad. It's here in the succulent garden, but it is extremely prickly. This is from Chile. It grows near the coast, but in areas where it essentially gets no rainfall. Uh, it maybe would get one to three inches of rain a year, so you can't get more drought tolerant than that. But how this plant really would get watered in its native environment would be that fog settles on it and then that waters the roots. And a clump like this could easily be 50 years old. This is really ancient. And so this is about as slow growing as it gets, but it really looks great, especially in a coastal uh, succulent garden or a native's garden where you want to have some other plants too to fill in those low spots. This thing just creeps and crawls on the ground. You don't want it where you're gonna st uh, step on it very often because it's delicate and it is extremely slow growing, but also very valuable. These are great plants to add to your collection. And so if you'd like to see our deuteraconia, they're here in the undersea succulent garden.